Right. We in the carpet. Welcome to Nature Nurture. Here's the outside of the room, and we've got uh, some awesome brands. Um, the t-shirts are made by a Worcester uh, couple called Glad Folk, their whole family. And uh, let's see, Nature Walk, I've got some totes and enamel pins and cards from them. They are awesome. Twig and Moth, one of my favorite Charlotte Mason artists out of Louisiana, actually. She is awesome. Look what she did. Some of our favorite Charlotte Mason quotes. And I have these prints for sale as well as some reading logs, different ones. She did a cool fishing log in there too. Um, let's see. There's an awesome publisher called Flourish, Flourish Books out of Europe. And so if anyone is familiar with Escobescal, um, I've got a lot of hers. A lot of people love her books. This is a brand new one like in the last month, and that one's amazing. Brambly Hedge, we like them, huh? Yeah, I love Brambly Hedge. Yes, and let's see, Nature Anatomy. And I know Hedge is mine. some nature schoolers love that one. For a reference book, we've got a notebook too. And the Brambly Hedge is mine, remember? Yes, Beatrix Potter coloring book. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> Paired with, actually, I'm going to come over here with this book is a great gift. Um, this is a brand new one as well that tells a story about Beatrix Potter um, and how she started to draw a nature journal and um, all these things go together, don't they? Art and literature and nature and the power of story. Um, uh, we've got Robert Louis Stevenson, Charles Gardner Versus, Secret Garden. It's time for that one. We should, I think that's going to be our next read again. You can't go through that one too many times, especially Welcoming Spring. Um, a couple of the newer versions. And the Garden Game. That is a fun game to play. I've got a whole garden section here. Gerda Muller is amazing as well. Um, got a lot of her books. Uh, this is a sweet one following the garden throughout the year. Actually, that is a republished, re-illustrated one. Um, this is a cute for any garden lover. Not so much for kids. Um, roots, shoots, buckets, and boots. That is a great one if you're going to be gardening with kids. Um, coloring books. Some of my kids' favorite ones. A Seed is Sleepy. Um, Diana Hutt's asked, and hers are beautiful. I've got her whole collection like this here. Um, that is paired well with acorn soup. Um, so these make great gifts. I've got the watering cans and um, a game into the forest. Sometimes those are hard to find. Um, got those. Let's go inside. Oh, fresh flower necklace. I just got those in from Huckleberry along with um, their magnifiers. And so this is also Glad Folk. Um, you make some banners. So there we are. All right. We've got some squirrels, squirrel nut Ken, and Miss Susie, and what else do we have? Another Elsa Bescal, that's a cute one, paired with the little uh, finger puppets. Tons of those. Huh? I don't know what you said. Tiggy Winkle. Who doesn't love Mrs. Tiggy Winkle? I love right. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle! Uh -huh. Cute! And her <laughs> nose went sniffle, 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 and her eyes went twinkle, twinkle. All right, let's see. Bunnies by the Bay. I've got a lot of their stuffed animals and more coming in. And she has a little, oh, and she, so and she has and a soft. cute little stuffy, cute little Which thingy. would be great with Runaway and Bunny. This little thingy. Because everyone needs a new copy of Runaway Bunny, right? <laughs> um, Rascal. Sterling North. Oh, I need to reprint Hurry Spring. That will be my next project to reprint in books we love. But um, a lot of amazing um, small publishers are doing that. They're reprinting books like Miss Susie that was out of print. And now they brought it back. Purple House Press. Right there. They're amazing. So we love them. I'm going to try to do as many small publishers as we can that are bringing back the best books that the libraries are often getting rid of, which is sad. Here is our, what section is, our water, pond, river section. 
So let's see, the raft, if no one has read this yet, this is a must read. And if you want to introduce nature journaling, actually, this is a great way to do it. It pairs well with a river nature tube. And um, if you and um, you might if you want to, you can call that on the raft. Here's this what he yes. what he did. He draws it on the raft, doesn't he? Yes. yes. All right. He does and everything. Right if here. anyone does not know that Jim Lamarche has a new one called Pond, and this is another amazing one. There's my favorite red winged blackbird, and we have the Audubon birds. That and make the duck? noise. Is that a duck? No. Do you remember what that is? A heron? No. A loon. A loon, yes. A yes. Loon. Um, oh, this is a nature walk. We've got some pins, cards. Um, this is actually for sale. This is the Let's duck. See. Oh, um, a biology teacher made these. These are awesome. Um, Ecologies. It's a little game. It teaches you about. I think there's seven different biomes in there. Of course, I have John Singer Sargent. I'll be selling some of his prints. Um, all of my artwork is going to be hopefully up online for sale soon. We've even got trout finger puppets. Let's see. Oh, they found the box of all kinds of Audubon bird sounds. Well, I don't have a morning dove. Girls, do you want to say what that one is? Yes. All right. What else can I show you? There's the fishing log. Um, I even have poems about fishing because ev in every nook and corner here, I will have poetry books. There's frost. You have to go through the seasons with frost and birchfield. Yes, that's a must. Swallows and Amazons. That's a good summer read, right? That's a little motorboat um, motor. So you can make your own boat and stick that to it. That's kind of fun that I found. Amazing pop-up books. This is a fun one. There are some great pop-up books out there right now. We've got a floral one as well. Let's see, otters, frog and toad, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Poor Mr. Jeremy Fisher, let's see. More um, coloring books, nature cards. Here are some of my, there's some jewelry and decals, some pins, Mary Oliver. Must, must, must. Um, and all of this stuff is wonderful. Fresh flower necklace. So if you're on your nature walks, you can collect the flowers as you go, little buds, and stick them in there. Let's see. Some nighttime reeds. And there's a bunch of cute little animals. Oh, it's a rackham. And bugs. And this Mary is my Cassett. favorite because it's the softest and the cutest. The right? cardinal, yes. She likes the cardinal finger puppet. We've got Jack Law's um, nature journaling, how-tos, drawing birds. If you don't follow him already, he's amazing out in California. Um, the Boy Who Drew Birds about Audubon. That's a really good one. And coloring books to go with it. Here's the other Diana Hutz Aston. What else? You should put a my um, coloring book in it because it has a whole bunch of nature right. stuff. And, the, and it's all like made out of leaves and stuff. Burgess Bird Book, Trees. which is an Ambleside book. Anyone can do that. This is a favorite. So it's, you can, um, hear the sounds of any of the birds by hitting the corresponding number and you can use this for nature journaling too and um, as a reference so this is a cute one about what do the birds say what girls what do what's the chickadee say <laughs> it's fun and that was mr tree man yep we've got our whole tree section um oh everyone has to read grandma gatewood oh my goodness we'll I talk love more about her gatewood. another time it's, really a story. It's, and it's my favorite book in the whole universe yes oh, yeah, it's good. very empowering let's put it that way um a tree is not well actually yes she walked she was the first woman to walk across the appalachian trail by herself and she did it how many times Two. She went back and did it at least two more, I think. We've got walking sticks from a company out of Pittsburgh, Channel Craft. Um, but it came from Pittsburgh, so. Last Bianca, Child in the Woods. Come here. Bird Song, that's Look. a great one. Um, I do have a set of the swallows, the and porcelain swallows little, for sale. And there's a little um, cute thingy in 
the bottom that is. <laughs> Chipmunk. Um, here's our tree section um, and binoculars. Let's see. Around a year around the great oak. That's a and good one too if you're doing this. nature study. And um, it's good to start with one tree in your backyard. As Charlotte Mason suggests, and many other people. Um, there is the swallowtail. Yes. It's my favorite. Oh, so it's up and down. Oh, yeah, up in the garden, down in the dirt. That one is fantastic. And I have um, the pond, the corresponding pond one back there, too. The story, the bio of Anna Comstock, who was at my alma mater, and I walked her hall and didn't even know about her, really, how much of a part of my life she would be later during homeschooling. She wrote the Handbook of Nature Study, which is the Bible of nature study with children everyone has and I have a friend who is redoing this right now that is, should be out and beautiful and hopefully available soon so that's exciting ladybug girl that's a must for any young one and we've got the corresponding wings to dress up with that um, the girl who drew butterflies um, best story ever I, it's like picking my kids I can't I love them all right and Let's see, we've got butterfly nets, insect sections. We have, if you've never seen these scrunch maps. These are so cool, but you can track. Um, Don't forget my feet. The monarch, the monarch migration on these. Um, oh, we should have had one out. We'll show them that later. Um, what else? Okay, let's go over here to, this is kind of my garden flower section. Let's get some more. Games and puzzles, um, Brambley Hedge, the set and the little books. Those are good for little hands. Um, let's see, Runaway Bunny. Oh, and these are just some of the best books you got to have in your library. All the places to love. Miss Dorothy about the bookmobile. Maybe I'll get myself a bookmobile soon. That and would be cool, huh? She has these cards. Oh, my business Thingies. cards. Yes. Um, Rocks a box in. <laughs> Miss Rumpia's. Uh, all right, yeah. Fairy dresses. We've got a few of these. We'll get more as we can. Um, some fairy books and more. More, more, more. Yeah, so there's a sneak peek. It's a lot in a little space. So many people helped. Um, thank you, Chris and Coria, for building my display tables. And... Um, yeah, so come check us out and bye so I can get more. Um, yeah, so thanks.